Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, so today we're gonna look at Dissolve from Francis Manotti. Uh, this was published by Murphy's Magic and simply what it is, it's a new version, it's a new take on the Triumph Effect. If you don't know the Triumph Effect, it's the effect where the cards are weaved together face up and face down in a shuffle. And then through magic and a couple of different uh, spooky moves, uh, the deck is able to write itself. And uh, one of the awesome things about the Triumph Effect is you're also able to do a kind of a second trick in that. Uh, you're able to have a spectator select a card, even sign it, lose it in the deck, and then when the deck writes itself, uh, it's the only card left that remains upside down. If you want to see uh, Francis do dissolve, here it is. One of my best friends in college was a film major, and he always used to talk to me about all of his favorite different kinds of film edits and so forth. Uh, his favorite actually was one of the simplest of all. It was really uh, the dissolve. And the dissolve basically is when you have two scenes, from one scene, you're gonna cut from one scene to the next in a very magical, melt away sort of fashion. Let me show you with cards. Basically have you select a card, remember it, and we'll place the card back about halfway down on the deck or so. There we go. In fact, you know what? Give the cards a little shuffle face up and to face down. We're gonna create two different scenes. The first scene will be with uh, half the cards facing one way, half the cards facing the other. And the second scene will be all the cards facing the same way. So right now, half the cards are facing one way, half are facing the other. If I snap my fingers, we're gonna go part way through that editing process and more of those cards will be facing up than facing down. Snap one more time, actually all of those cards will be facing the same way, except for one card about halfway through. That would be your card, the King of Clubs. And scene. All right, so like I said, that was uh, Francis Minotti, and if you don't remember uh, who Francis is, he did Treachery of Tricks, he did Threadbill, he did Prison. Uh, this right here, this is released through our good friends down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. All right, so what I liked about it, uh, I love classic effects and especially love the Triumph effect. Who doesn't love the Triumph? I think everyone at one time or another learns uh, a version of a Triumph effect. If you ask any card magician, he would probably tell you his favorite Triumph effect. I was really looking forward to this and uh, I do like the plot of the Triumph and I think this is simply, hands down, the best Triumph you can do for your money. So a couple questions we always ask about all our tricks. What's in the box? Hey, what's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get your DVD. Uh, your DVD is 110 minutes long, so it's an hour and 12 minutes. And you're gonna get a complete trick deck. It is a trick deck, it is a gaff deck, but it's done on red uh, rider back bicycle stock, 808 stock. Uh, it looks exactly like you'd expect it to look. Nothing funny about it. Uh, nothing you really need to hide or uh, make sure that your angles are a certain way. Uh, I think Francis has designed just a killer, killer, killer effect. I would highly recommend you go and check it out. All right, so is it what I expected? Uh, a little bit. Uh, when I watched the trailer, of course, you know, you always try to decipher how you think the trick goes and what's kind of involved. And I had some theories just about uh, maybe how it was built due to the presentation. And I wasn't surprised, but uh, I was glad that uh, it was what I thought. And that's one of the things that made me like it so much. All right, so how are the angles on this? Hey, the angles are flawless. I think if you perform this right, uh, you can have this trick done at any angle. Uh, it works really well. You wanna do this for a person one-on-one -on -one, or you wanna do it for a little semi-circle of people who are watching you, uh, maybe at a stage show or uh, even at a table. I think your angles are solid on this and I think it's uh, really great. Can the deck be inspected? Uh, no, it is still a gaff deck and one of the things we say about gimmicks uh, around here is that you can't inspect them. Uh, it is a gaff deck. Of course, I think if you do your presentation well, you do the effect well, there's no reason why your spectator should ever ask to see it. Uh, there's nothing that glaringly pops out that says it's not a regular deck of cards, and so I don't think uh, there's really any heat on this at all. All right, well, so what's the overall quality and production value? Hey, this is awesome. I think Francis uh, films the entire thing in HD. Uh, he's a really calm, very uh, giving teacher, uh, very easy to listen to. He goes over all the angles you need. Uh, you got multiple camera shots, uh, great, great, great quality DVD, everything you'd expect from Murphy's Magic. Is it well made? Hey, like I said, bicycle stock. Uh, couldn't be made any better. It's a wonderful gaff. It's a wonderful DVD.
All right, so how much practice does it require? Uh, it is a standard card trick, uh, and I think as much practice as you would put into uh, any other card trick, you're gonna have to put into this. There are some things you'll have to uh, get your fingers to memorize. Uh, it's more muscle memory than it is mental memory. Uh, I think the routine itself is easy to follow and easy to remember. But like I said, I, and there's just some things that you'll need to do with your fingers just to strengthen them, I think. Uh, and then once you have that down, I think this will be really easy to perform. All right, so how much setup and reset is there? There's not really that much, uh, not any more uh, for any other trick that uses an entire deck. You know, obviously you need to reset it and get it back to starting position, uh, but I don't think it's anything that where you need to like rush off and hide and go into the bathroom to do. I think if you just had your deck down at your hands and just, you know, went back and forth a couple times, just, you know, with your back turned, I think you'd have it set and ready to go. All right, so positives. Hey, positives are this puts a really uh, sometimes complicated, sometimes difficult trick in the hands of a beginner. I think that anyone could do this triumph effect and do it well uh, with a little bit of practice and you could hold your own side by side with a master cardsmith. All right, so some negatives. Hey, there wasn't really a lot of negatives I could find with this. I'll give you one, but it probably only applies to me. You know, like we say, my negatives, they're not always yours. Uh, my negatives are I'm left-handed. <laughs> And I live in a right-handed world. Uh, one of the things, just off the top of my head, uh, the way the deck is uh, made is really for a right-handed person. And even, I mean, even the way Francis teaches it is also for a right-handed person. Uh, it just takes a little bit of shifting uh, for a left-handed person, but I think it's still just as easy to do. Uh, but that's just my one negative. All right, so is it worth your money? Hey, it's 30 bucks. $30, you're getting 110 minutes of instruction and a full deck of cards. Nothing to build, no arts and crafts, nothing else to buy, everything ready to go. 30 bucks is totally in the pocket, totally in the zone. Well, well worth your money. Head down and pick it up. All right, so who would like this? Uh, card magicians, table magicians, walk around magicians, restaurant magicians, street magicians, anybody who likes the triumph effect, anybody who collects triumph magic tricks and head on down to their favorite local Murphy's Magic retailer and pick up Dissolve from Francis Minotti. All right, so that's the end of this review. Like I said, this is Dissolve from Francis Minotti. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers.